Mattel. Uh, it's on the cor right there in the Cork Street. There's cornfield across the street, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, um, right there in the Cork Street across the street uh, across Sprinkle Road. It's on the river. See, I used to take the highway. There's a highway right there in uh, 94 Business Loop, and I I take that all the way to you know because I only live two miles away. I live two miles away from my house, so I would take the Business Loop. Take me less than. You know, like eight minutes to get there, and take business loop, take River River or not Riverview, but River River Street off of I ninety four, and it's it's uh, I ninety four or River Street and where Cork Street dead ends, Cork Street dead ends into River Street, so right there does that work? But uh, I was material handler. I loaded entire bleacher systems. You know the bleachers that that you roll up to the wall and you roll out for it's called spectator seating. Spectator seating, that's what Intertel makes there. Make wood seats. Uh, they don't make the seats, but they have wood seats, plastic seats, and steel seats. They make the steel seats, but the plastic seats and the wood seats, they, they farm them out. And they found out, they started farming out a lot more, you know, because we were making top of the line wage. I left, I left there making $17 an hour, so $17 an hour, um, and, and all benefits paid. The only time you paid anything is when you had to go to the dentist or the the, um, the doctor or med medical or optical. Then then you paid a certain amount, but you only paid a certain amount. You didn't pay the premium. The company paid the premium, so you had a straight seventeen dollars an hour. Well, I was the low. I was like the lowest paid. Material handler was like the lowest paid there, other than janitor. We only had one of those, and I think he made sixteen something an hour, so it wasn't that much lower. <coughs> but I made 17 there when I left, and plus, plus they had a, a $6,000 profit sharing every year, so it's an additional check of $16,000 or of $6,000 to you. So it'd be you know $4,000, four to $5,000 take home after taxes and the, the stuff you take out, and uh, plus 401k and that you know take out if you want if you want that taken out. You don't have to have it taken out though. You can have straight check to you and that's what most people did <laughs> you know hell I got what four thousand five hundred dollars you know just to fuck around with and plus my seventeen dollar an hour pay pay plus plus all my all my premiums are paid for optical dental and medical so so they didn't call me back uh, 19 I mean uh, so I started there at um, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2001, 2003, two, 2001, 2000, uh, okay, I started there in May of 2000, two, or 2000, right, directly 2000, May 2000, that's my first hair transplant when I took a, when I took a voluntary layoff, first hair, hair transplant, uh, uh, $10,500 was what it cost me for my first hair transplant, I had, from here, from here to here, and from here to here, that's all transplanted hair. Okay, so that was um, the first time, 10,000. What they do is they do a, um, a dial pattern on your bald spot with three different size needles. And after, after they take, after the doctor cuts out a strip from ear to ear, back here, back there, back there, to there. Takes out a one one and eight inch strip of hair, and as he's cutting it out, I guess he cuts it into five five small strips. So he takes some five small strips and gives them to the nurses. and And while he's stapling you back up or sewing you back up, first time it was sewed back up. Second time I had it done, it was stapled back up. So as he's sewing and stapling you, that he's got four or five nurses splitting those hair those hairs up in the one, two, and three hair increments. Okay, now while they're doing that, he's he's poking sights. They call them sights. He's poking little, little tiny holes at, at, in a dial pattern because he, he's got you, um, your uh, local, it's a local anesthesia, local. And so he's poking the holes and um, with a three different size needle, hyperdermic needles, hyperdermic needles has three different sizes. He's poking the holes for uh, the sights. 
and you know because taking little chunks of skin out so that you can plan on you know transplant your hair from what he took back there right here so that's what it is and, that, and like I said from here to here was slick ball it was slick ball from there to there slick ball and the first time they did 1,200 transplants so the nurses you know after they get done what they do is they have like a watch thing they put the hairs on it's like a little piece of gauze they put the hairs on and then they have magnifying glasses and uh, what they do is they take tweezers and plant the hair and you got four of them back here so they're all coordinating each other for you know they're all going like that okay then they put gauze on wrap it up and put it like a shower cap on you but um i was able to drive there and drive back no problem and they give you some uh you know, like Tylenol with morphine, but I never took it because it was never the pain wasn't never bad enough to take anything. The pain that was there wasn't that much pain, no big deal. More of a pain to be bald headed. <laughs> it's more of a, it's more of a pain to be bald headed than than that pain. And it takes about eight hours, eight to nine hours. Um, so I, so first first what you do is lay on a lay on their bench. You know, they got a bench where you lay on, and they take that strip out. He steps you up, and then, then you walk over here and step in a chair, sitting up in a chair. So, so they're all back here planting. You know, after after he makes all the sites, after the doctor makes all the sites with the different three different syringes, makes all the sites. Then when the nurses are done separating the hairs, they come and plant them in all those sites, and the doctor also plants plants them. So, you got all those people back there planting here. It takes about eight to nine hours anyway, still. It only takes about 10 minutes to get the strip out and step it up, so, or to sew you up. So, that's my hair transplant, and that was, uh, oh shit, I was talking about, shit, I was talking about 1980, wasn't I? 1980 to 1990, I'm already in the 2000. So I skipped, I skipped. Oh well. Uh, okay, so that was my hair transplant. Uh. 1980. Okay. Okay, so I talked about 1980s. Now I'm talking about 1880s. Yeah, now I'm 1980s to 1990s, ain't I? So that was in 2000. Um, 2002, 2000 was the first time I had a hair transplant. And 2002 was the second time. And um, I was working at Intercal at the time, making $17 an hour. And and six thousand dollars profit sharing, so I could afford that. You know, uh, the second time it cost me seven thousand five hundred dollars for the same same amount, the same one thousand two hundred transplant. It took about the same amount of time, eight to nine hours. Plus, I had to drive from Kalamazoo to Grand Rapids and Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo, which is like sixty miles, something like sixty miles one way. So it takes an hour and a half or so to get there, an hour and a half back. But um. Uh, let's see, I skipped 90 to 98, that was uh, 80 to 90, that was 80 to 90, okay, that, that was the, um, yeah, let me stop this tape.